What's up guys? So funny story, I was working on a video and I was texting my girlfriend. I started telling her that I was triggered. I was triggered as fuck. And she was like, oh why? This one motherfucker, this dude, the video wasn't even about him. So my original idea for this video was the debate between uh, should you film yourself uh, helping the homeless? The specific person I'm referring to is Joao, Joe Hall. Joe, Joe, Joe Hop. Basically, Joel makes a living manipulating YouTube's casual audience. He spews out dog shit content that anybody with a DSLR and paid actors can fucking recreate. And it doesn't help that Joel is a terrible actor to begin with. He's often overshadowed by these fucking scrubs that he pays to be in his videos. And it's so fucking apparent, he just doesn't care. He doesn't care if it makes sense. He doesn't care if it's logical. He doesn't care if there's some sort of continuity in the video. He doesn't give a shit. As long as you click on that motherfucker and you slap a like on that motherfucker and you subscribe and you fucking suck his dick in the comments, he doesn't care. Watching these fucking videos, I was getting so fucking triggered to the point where my girlfriend convinced me, why don't you just make the video now? And I was like, but I'm not done writing my script. And I was like, why fucking write a script? This guy's a fucking piece of shit. He doesn't fucking write a script. Why should I write a fucking script? Fuck it. Let me stop bitching and let me go to his first video. Homeless man does tear dropping act social experiment. So I was driving on a beautiful sunny day when out of nowhere an idea hit me. Why don't I stop my car on the side of the road and take my tire out and see what happens, see who helps me out? Great idea! Hey, hey sir. Hey, um, do you know how to change a car's tire? Yeah, you yeah. do? Actually, I used to do that. Really, nice to meet you. There is already so many things wrong with this video. I'm not even gonna bust your chops on the whole 10 minutes into filming I met this amazing man shit. It's just a fucking cliche with these types of videos at this point. It's a cop out so they don't have to show any other footage. Just the footage they paid for. Do you know how to change a car's tire? Yeah. You yeah. do? He just starts walking towards the car. Like this guy agreed to help him. He didn't fucking agree to shit. Do you know how to change a car's tire? Yeah. You yeah. do? Actually, I used to do that. Actually, I used to do that. You mean, you mean you were a mechanic? Joe, why didn't you do what directors do and direct this man to say normal things like, yeah, I used to be a mechanic. I used to do that. Oh, you just used to change tires? That was your job? Did you work in a fucking pit crew in NASCAR? Is that all you did? That's all? You used to do that? You used to change tires? That's pretty sick, dude, and pretty convenient. You, you want to know what the kicker is here? You notice anything weird about Joel's shirt? Uh, besides the fact that it's being worn by some greedy prick with hero syndrome, Google it. But if you look, his mic is on his fucking shirt clear as day. Is David also blind in addition to being homeless? I might feel a little more bad for the guy if he's blind too. Maybe you should mention that, Joel. I was just at the mechanic and, and then I was just leaving the mechanic and I thought everything was good. He switched my tire and I just drove two miles and the tire started wobbling. And this nut fell off. Joel Joel, oh my gosh, you are just you are just one creative little guy, ain't you? Oh, oh yeah, crazy. these are all loose. Uh, you should have a jack and a, a lug wrench in your trunk. Oh, you don't have one. I don't have one. Yeah, your jack and your lug wrench is missing. Damn. Hey, I have some friends that we're staying right down here. Uh huh. I'll go see if they got a jack. Okay, okay. thank thank you. Your friend get your friend let you borrow a jack. No, actually, I went and bought you one. Let's pretend that this is real, okay? 30 minutes later, and Joel, Joel, doesn't know this guy, and he went off and said, I got some friends who might got a jack thingy. I'll go look. And then he just leaves. Would you sit around and wait a half hour to see if this random fucking stranger comes back to help you? I don't know, Joel. That's a little, it's, that's, that, that takes dedication. And... Frankly, I don't think you have that because I've seen your other content. It's shit. Your friend get your friend let you borrow a jack? No, actually I went and bought you one. Cue sad music! You went and bought me one? I took my recycling money and got you a jack. Wait, I thought you said you wanna go. Now I'm no mechanic like my friend David here. Cause I've changed a fucking tire. I've changed a tire unlike my friend Joel here. I don't think you necessarily need to lift the fucking car 
to put on the lug nuts. But you know what? I, I what do I know? You know how how dare I question the mechanic's intuition? So for Joel Joel to pull this off, he would need a lug nut wrench to fucking loosen those pieces of shit and take some lug nuts off, right? So that means he does have one in his car. So I'm assuming that he hid it so this guy wouldn't find it. See, this is where it gets fucking stupid and it doesn't make any fucking sense and I start thinking that Joel doesn't fucking care. Why would he hide it from people that are trying to help him? Isn't the point to see who's gonna help you? Who's the good Samaritan? Is that not the point? Why did you fucking hide it? So it could fit this plot that you so geniusly have thought of? So I, I've never worked a jack in my life. There's a little valve right there, uh -huh. and you close it. Uh -huh. It all works on hydraulics. That's crazy. So Joel did have a little direction in this video. I could tell right there. He was like, hey, say hydraulics so you sound like a mechanic. Please. Oh yeah, oh, I was wow. just about to enter the freeway as well. Wow. But David, that seriously means a lot to me. Like, what, what, honestly, what really just inspired you to do that? People don't talk like this, okay? I've actually had somebody come help me change one of my tires one time. The last thing I did was look at him and be like, I, I really appreciate this, man. Like, like, what inspired you to do this, you know? Is, like, there, is there something you need? No, I'm pretty good. Is there something you need? No. You know, I get by on what I need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you have you eaten yet? Or? Are you assuming my gender or that I'm homeless? Very peculiar indeed, Joel. This guy never said he's homeless. Is it because he looks homeless? You're just assuming the guy hasn't eaten? No, I haven't had a meal yet today, but I'm good. Well, here, I want to give you some money. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, no, here. Crap, it's only, let's see. It's only $80, Serious. but no, here, I want to give you $80. And Now, this is the part that confuses me in the video. He says, I'm going to give you $80, which is, you know, you cheap fuck. He spent $50 on the jack and lug nut wrench alone. So he basically gave him 30 shitty dollars. I don't get why you didn't just lie, Joel. You're already lying about everything in this video. Why didn't you just pretend you gave the guy fucking $500 so you could look like more of a fucking saint? Get more likes, more subscribers, more views. You could put it in the fucking title as clickbait. Thank Joel. Fuck! And then I also want to treat you to dinner. And I want, oh, I, 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 want, I want to buy you clothes as well. And that right there is the end of the video. And it links off to another video. It's a vlog with David in it. Video's called Met This Amazing Man. If you guys are coming from the main channel, subscribe to this channel, the Joe Hall Vlogs channel. It's Joe Hall. If you guys haven't already, let's start this vlog. He's that guy. No. Oh, guys, you know, uh, I'm actually about to go to the mall, my friend, so uh, we'll catch you there. <laughs> oh, fuck yourself, dude, honestly. What's going on, you guys? Like that, how he, how he left in those extra five seconds of him just... What's going on, you guys? Hope you guys are having a fantastic, beautiful day. Just remember, every single one of you guys are beautiful. I don't care what people say. I don't care if the whole world says you're not beautiful. I know you're beautiful. You are beautiful inside and out. And it doesn't matter what people think about you. Go towards your dreams, become successful, and do what it takes to become successful because it's worth it. And I promise you that. It doesn't matter how many people tell you that you cannot do something because I know that you can do it. And show can me. Can you stop, FussyTube? Oh my god. Gosh, dude, I don't mind motivational speeches. I don't mind trying to empower your audience, make your audience feel good. But fuck you, Joe Hall. I think that triggered me more than your fucking social experiment bullshit. To all my subscribers, guys, you are beautiful. If you don't think you're beautiful, dude, dude, don't listen to those people. Those are the naysayers, the haters. You guys are beautiful. You guys can do so much with your life, okay? As long as you fake your pranks, fake your social experiments, make dog shit content, you can be where I am right now. You can be in my shoes, okay? You can be the great, the almighty, your savior, Joe Hall. All right, so Chris just spontaneously told me we're gonna get our eyes, bro, eyebrows waxed, but then I told him he's hanging out with prank and Invasion. If you don't know who Prank Invasion is... I know some of you may be thinking, Oh dude, why are you talking shit about Joe Hall's videos? All he's doing is promoting the idea 
that homeless people are good people. That's the message you're getting at the end of the day. Why are you so upset? I get pissed when I, and I guess I can blame uh, a lot of the YouTube audience for this. They talk about this guy like he's fucking MLK, like he's fucking Gandhi. That really means a lot to me. That made me so happy. I really appreciate it. Wow, that. what you did to me, man. I can't believe it. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. I'll tell you, that was it always helps to pay for it. No, that's amazing. Now, I I'll tell you, that it was always ADR. helps to pay for it. No, that's amazing. Anyways, like I was fucking saying, I'm gonna go get him food and clothes because, you know, he's a poor fuck, can't afford any of this. I gotta help him out. So they have this long, stupid, drawn-out segment where he's getting him a bunch of clothes. And then look where the next scene starts. Look. Let's get the socks and we'll go. Yeah, the socks. We need the socks. Yeah, you can just close it. Perfect. So guys, we just put the clothes inside the trunk and now we're- Is that really what you just did, Joe Hall? That's really, really convenient timing in your vlog. So what do we, what do we, what do you want to eat? How about McDonald's right over here? They got those oh, dollar no. sandwiches. No, we're not, we're not eating McDonald's. It's the same with every dick bag that fucking hires these actors. And they're like, hey, you know, uh, you gotta seem kind of like, you know, like a really nice, genuine guy. So when I ask you what you want to eat, say you want McDonald's. And everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, he's so used to such cheap food. Here's another little coink and dink. Watch this one. Do you like Chinese food? Oh, I love Chinese food right there. So there's a Chinese bistro right there. I don't know wow. if that's good. I am, I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. <laughs> it's like, hey, say homeless people things. I'm so hungry. Even though earlier he was like, nah, I haven't eaten all day at 6 p.m. I'm fine. I'm fine. I got you a jack. I got you a jack. And we're going sushi it's out, bro. <laughs> Let's kill it. Hi right, guys, so we just- You couldn't record like fucking five seconds of the restaurant, really? I finished with the sushi. How was it, David? How was the sushi? I am so stuffed. He doesn't even look kind of satisfied. I am so stuffed. Like, it's almost sarcastic. It's almost like David stopped giving a shit. It's like, you know what, asshole? You don't pay me enough to be on your main channel's video and your fucking vlog, okay? I'm gonna half-ass one of them. How was this whole thing? How do you like all the clothes? I couldn't everything? believe you did all this. No, of course, yeah, dude. All I it took 10 minutes to help you out. That's no, it. the fact the fact that you wanted to help me out, you know, you buy a jack for me and stuff like that, that really means a lot to me. $50, like, it was just like, wow, you know what I mean? You know, it just goes to show you, you help somebody else and it always comes back. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you you, you know, you didn't expect me to do all this for you. You know, you just thought, no, you, know, you I just didn't thought, you do anything. Yeah, you, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, a lot of homeless people are just there because they just, you know, they, 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 didn't, they didn't want to do anything with their life, but, you know, some people are just tough on their luck, you know? Just down on your luck and, exactly. you know, you actually just changed me. You're mm -hmm. inspiring me now. No, you inspire. <laughs> Yes, dude. You're so fuck you, Joe Hall. Fuck you. Just stroking his ego right now. Just stroking that shit right now. You fucking piece of fucking dog shit. Um, he paid this guy to say, you changed me, man. You're inspiring me. Joe Hall, oh my god, you are such an amazing man. You are the most amazing man that I've met. Oh my god, everyone should really subscribe to you on YouTube because you're such a good guy for helping me out when I'm down. Can I get my money now? <laughs> Guys, so I gave him my number on a piece of paper. So anytime you ever need any help, wow. dude, you're, you're, you have to call me. Don't even think, oh, should I call him? Should I not? You have to call me. With what phone? He's homeless. He sleeps on fucking cardboard. He doesn't have a phone, dog. I can't, I can't wait for this, man. Like I said, you know, you help somebody in need and it comes back a hundred times. Love over. it, man. I love it. I love it. I love he it. didn't listen to shit that David just said. You help somebody in need and it comes back a hundred times. Love over. it, man. I love it. I love it. Drop David off and I'm trying to get David a job now. So I want to get him like a wardrobe and stuff like that. I actually want to help him out. He took down my number, so I told him like to call me whenever he needs anything. I do have a lot of friends who like own liquor stores and stuff like that, so I actually want to talk to them to maybe help him get a job. You know, I'm trying to get him a job. You know, I know people who own liquor stores and he's clearly an alcoholic since he's a fucking bum, so I figured he'd fit right in. So once they're done throwing David in the dumpster or wherever they left him, this fucking clown says, Hey, uh, you know, David was really, uh, you know, he was kind of camera shy. He really didn't want to be in front of the camera. That's why I didn't record as much. So he already set up his defense for people being like, 
Hey, why don't you record this? Why don't you record that? Uh, once you've seen one of his homeless videos, you've seen them all. I'm gonna run through four more of his videos very, very fucking quick. They are all exactly the fucking same format. That's how I know Joe Hall is a lazy, piece of greedy shit and you gotta love the titles on these motherfuckers homeless man does stunning act social experiment hi excuse me um where's the nearest gas station around here it's down the road about a mile on your right hand side about a mile yes sir about dang because my car's completely out of gas right now and i need to get gas it's hot out here too. i know i can't even turn my car's ac on Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> so, oh, you don't have any air conditioning, dude? Oh, dude, I feel so bad for you, dude. Uh, I, I sleep in a ditch over there next to possums. But yeah, dude, no air conditioning? Oh, that's gotta suck. Hey. Hi, sir. Where'd you get that from? Oh, I didn't want to leave you sitting out here. I'd... Notice? No, no, like... This is so fucking stupid. I thought Joe Hall said he had no AC. Why are you in your car if it's fucking a blazer outside? I wonder why. Maybe because you don't give a shit about the continuity in your videos. So you were like, oh, I'm actually hot. So I'm going to go inside, turn on the AC that I really do have. I don't care if it's in the video because these fucking idiots watching my videos won't fucking notice. Here, I had a little bit of money from recycling some cans I had. Well, that's fucking bullshit. I've recycled cans. Probably the most you'll get for about like three bags is like eight to ten dollars. That gas container was probably like ten bucks on its own. Not to mention the fucking gas you filled it up with. Homeless man does life-saving act social experiment. It's so bad, dude. My head's killing me right now. I lost my wallet. I can't even, like, go buy medicine or anything. It hurts so badly, dude. Peace. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy, you all right? Yeah, dude, my head just hurts so I hate when people just do unrealistic things, things that don't happen. He could have easily kept sitting down, turned over and been like, hey, buddy, you all right? Instead. <laughs> Homeless man does extraordinary acts, social experiment. Do you have any, like, food or money that you can help me out with? Because I'm pretty hungry right now. I just got out of a meeting. I'm going to go up to a homeless person and ask them, hey, you got any food or money I can use? Because... It's gonna be like two hours before I eat. So this fucking idiot goes off on his bike, comes back, and he's like, hey, dude, I got some money so you can go get some food. And then Joe Hall's like, where'd you get that money? And he's like, oh, dude, well, actually, I sold my bike, dude, you know. <laughs> Fuck yourself, Joe Hall. Oh my gosh. Fuck you, liar. Doesn't care. I'm not trying to make this like a Joe Hall exposed video or oh my god Joe Hall's fucking experiments are fake. You screw it on his videos, it's shitty pranks, it's shitty social experiments, it's uh, the song lyric text prank. It fucking sells it for me. You can watch my video on that by the way. I, I still plan to make the video with the debate of whether you should film yourself helping the homeless with real videos if I can fucking find any because they really are completely overshadowed by a lot of the bullshit on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just jumped in here and just I, I was angry. I had to let some steam out and I did. I actually feel a lot better. You know, excuse if this video is just complete shit. Please give it a like if you did. Uh, subscribe because I have uh, more content coming that's not pranks and shitty social experiments. Uh, as always, I'm Mr. Gigi and I'm out.